Well, we've been on the road for about two years now. Yep, coming up on it. And we have been run off by all kinds of acts of nature. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. First was floods. Yeah, Branson. Branson. Floods. Freezing temperatures and ice in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Hurricanes in the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. And now, fires out west. Yeah. Rerouting. But it's all part of staying flexible in the RV life. Mm -hmm. um, it sucks. It because we had some really cool places planned out here yeah. in California. And um, I'll throw up this overlay of our planned route. And you can see it's kind of like a zigzag formation. Mm -hmm. You know, we were headed, um, well, right now where we sit, yeah. we are in Medford, Oregon, mm -hmm. um, which is just close to the border of Oregon and California. Yes. We were headed over to Eureka to go see the Redwoods. Yep. No problem with that. We could get there just fine. Yeah. But getting from there back to Central California is the issue. That I think is the biggest. That's the biggest one. Yeah. Because there are, there's like three routes to get through there. Mm -hmm. But you have the Monument Fire to the north, yeah. which is only 20% contained, and it's already got the northern route closed. Closed. Yeah. And then the southern route is the McFarland Fire. It's 73% contained. However. It's still down there mm -hmm. and that monument fire could move south and close off our only route that's no bueno to Redding yeah and then we'd be stuck on the west coast major no bueno <laughs> and so that wouldn't be fun at all <laughs> no because then we'd have to reroute <laughs> to you know places that that we really don't even want to go. go yeah and exactly. routes that we really don't even want to take mm -hmm. we wanted to go back through Redding and then we were going to head over to Reno Tahoe area. Yes. But that didn't work out either. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Cuz that's zigzagging all the way back over to the to the east side, actually into Nevada and then just on the border of Nevada and California. Uh-huh. But over there you had the Dixie Fire. Now the Dixie Fire is is huge. That is a big one. It's burned a lot. Now it's 45% contained. However, that fire line goes right, right through it on the road yeah they haven't closed the road as of yet but our luck if we took it it would get close not only that is i don't want to really drive that close to a fire yeah um you got visibility issues and then mm -hmm. you got safety issues and you know what if it kicks up at the time you're trying to travel through there yeah that's true and then you got to try to maneuver your fifth wheel and everything and you got to hope people are paying attention and yeah don't so hit you. we decided to to not do that yeah and then if even if we had made it out there to Reno and Tahoe, what's uh -huh. the visibility gonna be like? It's probably not gonna be fun visit. Like how much of it are you gonna see and enjoy? If you're that close to a fire. Yeah. It's gonna be so smoky. And the air quality is gonna be bad. You're not gonna wanna even be outside. Yeah. And then you gotta work your way back again to Central California. <laughs> yeah. Which there's another issue coming from Reno and Tahoe area back over to the, the Sacramento, Sacramento area, area you got the yeah. Caldor fire and it's only 11% contained mm -hmm. and the the preferred travel route would be across highway 50 yeah but it's closed because this fire has jumped highway 50 and that's completely closed so we so would have it to would go down and yeah. back up and it would actually take us a little longer yeah. it'd be a little more of a windy road mm -hmm. and you're still close to the fire still close. so you yeah. don't know and that only being 11 percent contained that thing could go anywhere yes so we decided we just reroute our whole plans yeah no more zigzagging no more zigzagging and a lot of these were thousand trails so we were yeah. planning on staying at these places for free mm -hmm. and getting to see a lot of cool stuff so what not it's so much anymore <laughs> what it's going to look like now is not nearly as exciting no <laughs> straight down Point A. Point B. <laughs> straight down we're still going to see a lot of cool stuff yeah um but what it's going to mean for us is because we had plans after this at certain dates and locations mm -hmm. um now we just have to stay longer at those places in northern california yeah over close to sacramento we're staying for several weeks down in salinas we're staying for several weeks we were only planning to stay one to one two week. weeks yeah at those places but True. now we're three or four up to even five weeks up there yeah, one place is yeah. five weeks which just, i think is gonna it's gonna be the hardest one yeah but just to fill that gap so that we get back on our 
our, time our regularly scheduled program. Schedule. <laughs> now, all of this is contingent on how the Rona stuff goes too. Yes. And we already talked about that. If you haven't seen that video, we'll yeah. leave a link up here so that you can go see it because all this might not even matter. Because things are getting tighter out here. Yeah, so we might bug out before even any of this might is even an issue. Bye to California. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's kind of like everything is telling us to get the hell out of California. but <laughs> They don't want us here. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna. Yeah. Not yet. We're not calling it quits yet. We're going to see some of it at least. Yes. And uh, But it's just going to be a little slower going. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to get more creative on what we're going to go see. Yeah. And we may have to travel a little further to go see some cool stuff. Yes. From our campsites. But, hey, it's all part of the life. Yeah. You got to roll with it, man. Got it. It's the roll. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to do. Yeah. So I'm not super excited about the new route. I mean, all that stuff on the on the new route, we were planning on being in those locations mm -hmm. anyway and seeing that stuff. But we just weren't planning on staying as long. As long. That's the thing, yeah. The so length of stay. Fill those gaps. Uh, so maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be nice just to relax for several weeks because we don't do that very maybe, often. So yeah. And, and just, I don't know. Chill. Chill. Netflix <laughs> yeah. and chill. <laughs> and then you know what? Especially if things are going to be so strict with the COVID and yeah. locked down and things don't want to be open, it, it it will cause us to have to stay at the campground anyway. Yeah, and it'll be more like nature stuff, hiking, biking, yes. out on the ride of, uh, on the motorcycle, you know, disc golf. We're looking into maybe getting some kayaks. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. We'll get creative and we'll we'll find cool stuff to do. Oh yeah, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. <laughs> it's just the level of enjoy is, yeah. is in question. Well, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we'll certainly take you along with us. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know if you're out here, if you're impacted by wildfires. We'd love to know what areas are being impacted, uh, if it has changed your travel plans at all. Um, and this is our first experience with fire, so we're just a little freaked out about it. And maybe we're just being, you know, a little too cautious. Yeah, some people are going to say we're, we're being very overly cautious, maybe, to some. But it's fire. But it's fire. <laughs> and I think it's worse for us because we have lost a home to fire. We before. have. So we're a little so more freaked like, out about it. <laughs> we're like, we don't want to lose another home no. to fire. So we we're wanna, just going to kind of stay away. It. I don't even like being around where you can still see the smoke out well, here and, where we're at. And it's just not healthy to be it's true. inhaling all that anyway. Yeah. So I don't want to make our health bad just to go see some cool stuff yeah well we can we'll, just come back some other time and see the cool <laughs> stuff yeah. no matter what it's going to look like we'll take you along and we'll have some fun yeah and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description of the video we appreciate you watching stay safe and stay away from the fires <laughs> yeah. see you next time bye <laughs>